Hello, friends. This is Professor Gublov. Today's video will be a little unusual, but I'm sure you will like it. So, get comfortable and let's go. A lighthouse on Snake Island, Brazil. Queimada Grande is a snake island that has no humans on it, but has a huge number of venomous snakes. The internet is filled with horror stories about the mysterious piece of land, but the truth is far from attributed to the Snake Island stories, and the reality is more prosaic, but no less fascinating. However, about everything in order. The island of Queimada Grande is a small island consisting of one large and three small islets. It is located 35 kilometers off the coast of Brazil. Legends attribute to the island a snake population of over 400,000 venomous creatures of various species, which with an area of only 46 hectares of the island almost lie on top of each other. The creepiest legend is the story of a lighthouse keeper whose family was ambushed by the island's large snake population, forcing the lighthouse to be converted to automatic operation. A kind of highlight of the island is the story of buried pirate treasure. Allegedly, the pirates learned of the island's ability to screen out uninvited guests, so they buried their looted jewels here without risk of loss from treasure hunters. Look further and you will find out where one of the most dreaded lighthouses is located, near which a large number of shipwrecks have occurred. An Atomic Beacon The lighthouse at Cape Aniva, Russia was designed by Miura Shinobu, a Japanese engineer from the Kanagawa Institute of Technology, in 1936. The lighthouse was built three years later in 1939. The main color of the 31-meter structure echoed the surrounding rocks, while the nine-story round tower with a bay window, standing on an oval base, seemed to emerge from the coastal rocks. The lighthouse looks fabulous. In 1990, the lighthouse was automated. A radioisotope thermoelectric generator was installed to power the lighthouse mechanisms. Since that time, the constant presence of a keeper at the lighthouse was not required, and all personnel moved to the nearest border outpost, which existed until a few years ago. The lighthouse was used until 2006 and then it was abandoned, a little later the border outpost was disbanded as well. Modern ocean navigation no longer needs lighthouses. Satellite navigation systems are now used for navigation and such facilities are gradually becoming a thing of the past this is the reason for the closure of the Cape Aniva Lighthouse. A Haunted Lighthouse Point Lookout Lighthouse is one of the legendary places in the state of Maryland, USA. Built in 1830, this lighthouse has always attracted the attention of various mystics, but it gained its greatest popularity in 1981, when the famous parapsychologist Dr. Hans Holzer came here with a team of psychics. Using special equipment, Holzer taped 24 different voices that supposedly belonged to caretakers who had once lived here and to soldiers of the troops who had been held captive here during the Civil War. The voices sang, talked, and even swore profanely, it is recalled that one of the ghost soldiers told a co-worker, if they come any closer, shoot. In, in addition, both Holzer's psychics and ordinary gawkers have noticed that the lighthouse stinks, which may indicate phantoms of decomposing human bodies whose souls have not yet been laid to rest. When Holzer left and published his research, Point Lookout Lighthouse became a national attraction where tourists began flocking from all over the United States. Ice Beacon in winter, the St. Joseph Lighthouse, which is located on Lake Michigan, USA, where waves at this time of year reach 7 meters or more in height, is covered with ice, which turns the structure into something very unusual and fabulous. Under the influence of winds and water, the entire lighthouse ices up so much that it forms curved icicles that look like huge fangs, creating a truly monolithic white sculpture of a landmark building, for which time seems to have stopped. Pensacola Lighthouse. The Pensacola Lighthouse sits on a tropical beach with breathtaking views, but its history includes a sinister story. Michaela Penalber married the man of her dreams, Jeremiah Ingram, and happily moved into the lighthouse shortly after it was completed in 1826. Their union seemed wonderful, but strangely enough, the couple's marriage deteriorated almost overnight. The heat of passion reached a climax when Michaela attacked her husband with a knife one evening in 1840 seemingly for no reason. Due to lack of evidence, the woman was not imprisoned and lived out the rest of her days in the lighthouse until she died in 1855. Apparently, Michaela's spirit continues to exist at the site even after death. Visitors have reported objects thrown at them as they walked through the living room where Michaela and her husband lived, and large bloodstains visible on the floor. 
This is despite the fact that the lighthouse has been renovated several times. A local resident stated that he tried to wash the blood off once, but it just kept reappearing over and over again. What's worse is that some visitors have heard breathing behind them and felt a ghost following them as they climb the stairs to the lighthouse tower. A Lighthouse on a Volcano Strombolicchio is a sea rock of volcanic origin located 2 kilometers northeast of the Italian island of Stromboli. In Sicilian, Strombolicchio means, Little Stromboli. Its altitude is 131 meters above sea level. On this island there is a living volcano, which last reminded about itself recently on February 27, 2007. The mighty mountain, exhaling clouds of smoke like a dragon and spewing droplets of red-hot lava into the sky, fascinates many. Just as it is impossible to understand why people continue to live on this island, risking everything. Geologically, Strombolicchio is the remnant of an ancient volcano that gave rise to the island of Stromboli. Its volcanic activity began about 200,000 years ago. Subsequently, Strombolicchio became inactive and the volcanism shifted 3 kilometers to the southwest, forming the island of Stromboli over tens of thousands of years. An underwater platform connects the rock to the island. Composed of basalts, Strombolicchio proved resistant to erosion, which is why it has survived to this day. At the top of the cliff there is a lighthouse. To get to it, you have to climb about 200 steps of a stone staircase. Together with Stromboli, Strombolicchio is a tourist attraction. Cape Gibraltar Lighthouse According to legend, the refusal of a lighthouse keeper at Cape Gibraltar Lighthouse named J.P. Raiden Muller to share a second drink of whiskey with a group of rowdy servicemen led to a fight. After the fight was over, Muller disappeared, presumed dead and never seen again. However, if several ghostly legends are to be believed, Muller can indeed still be seen at the lighthouse and surrounding island. Another version of the story states that the drink was beer. According to this version, Muller and two or three soldiers were sitting around fine over mugs of beer when Muller suddenly decided he'd had enough. He refused to pour them a new batch of alcohol, which led to a fierce struggle after which Muller was buried by the water on the island. S Some people have reported seeing a lone transparent figure wandering aimlessly around the island in the lighthouse, while others have heard moaning amid the clouds of thick fog that enveloped the entire island. Le Jumain on the island of Wessant, France. The giant lighthouse is built right in the sea on a lonely unnamed rocky spur 48 kilometers from the island of Wessant. Th this particular place is considered to be one of the most dangerous, as many of the most gruesome shipwrecks have occurred here. The reason is that severe storms can occur here at any time of the year. It was here that the famous photo was taken, which traveled around the world in 1989. Photographer Jean Guichard shot it from a helicopter and captured the moment when the lighthouse keeper thought that rescue services had arrived and came out of hiding. At that moment, a giant wave crashed into the building. The lighthouse keeper was almost killed, but managed to get behind the steel doors of the lighthouse entrance in time. Corbier Lighthouse Corbier's Lighthouse is located in southwest Jersey, Canada. It is one of the most popular tourist spots on the island. It is a great place to watch sunsets and take pictures. The name of the lighthouse literally translates to, the place where crows gather. The crows, however, are no longer here they have been replaced by seagulls. The height of the lighthouse is 19 meters, and its searchlight is located at 36 meters. It was opened in 1874 and was the first concrete lighthouse in the British Isles. The area has always been difficult to navigate and there have been many wrecks. The most famous is the wreck of the Mailship Express on September 20, 1859. Well, as I promised, the video was interesting. So, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.